Now we will discuss another learning outcome of this unit that is learning outcome D and this learning outcome states that define the terms protons number that is V and nucleon number that is A. So let's proceed towards this learning outcome. Protons number It is represented by capital Z, the number of protons inside the nucleus is called as proton number it is denoted by capital Z and it is also called as atomic number as well while the definition of Nucleon number is as the total number of protons and neutrons inside the nucleus it is denoted by capital A and its alternate name is mass number as well another name of proton number is atomic number or charge number as well the alternate name of nucleon number is mass number so if we are going to consider this example then according to this example value of z what was the definition of proton number the number of protons inside the nucleus so this term is compulsory whenever we are going to define the term proton number that the number of protons inside the nucleus if we will not write this term no marks will be awarded so Z stands for number of protons and here blue color represents protons so how many blue dots were there or blue circles were there two so according to this example proton number or charge number or atomic number was equal to two while the value of A that is nucleon number or mass number so it was equals to number of protons plus number of neutrons that is 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 so here we can write this z is equals to number of protons a is equals to number of protons plus number of neutrons now if we want to find the number of neutrons then what will be the equation it will be equals to a minus z what was the value of a it was equals to 4 what was the value of z it was equals to 2 so number of 
neutrons will be equals to 2. So in this learning outcome, we have studied two different terms. Number one, proton number and number two, nucleon number. What was proton number? It was equals to number of protons inside the nucleus. It was denoted by capital Z. Alternate name of proton number was charge number or atomic number. While what was nucleon number? It was equals to total number of nucleons or total number of protons and neutrons or we can say the sum of protons and neutrons inside the nucleus is called as nucleon number and what was alternate name of nucleon number it was equals to mass number and it was denoted by capital A and how we can calculate number of neutrons it's very easy that is capital A minus capital Z now we will proceed examples of this topic related to protons number and nucleons number before we will consider the examples of proton numbers and nucleon number another important term is necessary for all of you to be known and that is the term nucleide basically nucleide is the notation for writing the elements with their proton number and their nucleon number as you have studied in chemistry that there is a specific way to represent the element so Nucleide means that it is a particular type of notation. It is represented by capital X. It is represented by capital X while on the left side, topmost left side of the capital X, we always write value of capital A and here we always write value of capital Z so what is meant by capital X capital X stands for symbol of an element capital Z we already know that it stands for protons number and capital A stands for nucleon number. Now consider different examples in order to understand the notation nucleide. Let's suppose if I have a carbon atom with me. So in place of X, I will write C. The value of nuclear number for carbon is 12. And the value of proton number for carbon is 6. So this whole representation is called as nucleide notation. Another example of helium atom is there. In place of X, we will write helium then the value of a is 4 
while the value of z is 2. Another example is sodium. For this value of z is 11 while value of a is 23. So here we can write a is equals to 12, a is equals to 4, a is equals to 23 and z is equals to 6, z is equals to 2, z is equals to 11 and for number of neutrons what was the formula? A minus Z, 12 minus 6 is equals to 6, A minus Z is equals to 4 minus 2 is equals to 2, A minus Z, 23 minus 11 that is equals to 12. So I hope that from these three examples now you are able to understand the term nucleide. Again keep in your mind that nucleide is the notation to represent the element with their nucleon number as well as their protons number. On the topmost left side always value of a will be written and on the bottom of left side always value of z will be written while capital X represents the symbol of that particular element. Now we will consider different examples in order to ensure that the concept of the terms of protons number and nucleon number is clear to us by using the notation nucleide and now we are going to solve those examples.